Namaskar and greetings to all of you. Actually, I would like to thank you, uh, thank all of you for the comments, for the encouragement uh, for the uh, on the previous videos. And uh, these has uh, encouraged me uh, to do some research on what should I present to all my friends. So, and that's the basic reason why I'm making a track change and uh, working on some of the content only for my dear friends okay. but before i go there and start what i want to make and what i want to present to you i have a cardinal questions for all of you do you have the opportunity to do what you are the best every day my question is once again i'm repeating my question do you have the opportunity to do what you are best every day? I would like to hear your reply and uh, use the comment section for the reply. And I would love to hear what is the, your point of view to this question. But if you ask me, the chances are I don't. Uh, all too often when I look into my career from the cuddle to the cubicles that I have reached today most of the time in the work floor I get to do what somebody thinks that I am have an opportunity area Uh, mostly the feedback that I got get into what I should do and when I'm looking today and when I'm studying certain things I have realized that there is a cardinal flaw in the core fundamental uh, look into any training program any learning program most of the time the concentration is to develop what you are not i was going through a book and uh, the book is called strength finder 2.0 by tom red and this is the book out here so what i have uh, this book is uh, basically developed uh, on the survey that has been made by Gallup scientists and what they actually have taken out is people they are best when they are working with their strength by the way all the thing that they have identified on their 40 years of studying human what they have identified is infinity of strengths but what they did best is they could broadly categorize them into 30 40s and so i'll have a series of videos now discussing with you these 34 themes of strength keep watching and if you like my analysis please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so out of these 34 themes that we have of strength in this video i'll be discussing about the first theme and that theme is the theme of an achiever who exactly is an achiever and how do you identify an achiever and what are the ideas of action that usually are taken by an achiever okay so when i say an achiever I mean to say 
everyone in their life have achieved certain things. As a baby, they were not being even to crawl and today they are standing. So this is an achievement. Okay. So everybody has that element of achievement or an, as an achiever into them. What is important here is how do you identify this com uh, competency in you and brush it, make it your strength. A small example that I want to give you. Okay. I was taking an interview. There were a few of the candidates and one of the candidates while discussing about his career with me, he was telling not how he was doing things in his previous job. What he was telling me is what did he achieve while doing those things? So in a competency-based interview, this is a modern way of interviewing people. This is called CBI competency-based interview. In a com competency-based interview, uh, generally there is a tunnel and in the tunnel we would like to trap that interview and ask him more and more about his practical experiences, trying to find his core competencies. So when he say what he was achieving, I could see that he's not interested in telling me how he is doing things. What he was interested in telling me is what has he achieved? That means he is MSD, Mahendra Singh Dhoni, the finisher. And that's the sign of an achiever. So dear friends, we have known or we could identify an achiever, okay? And suppose I have selected him or I know an achiever who would be working with me, okay? I need to be very careful while working with him in certain things. First of all, and this is when the competency called achiever actually dominates your personality. With him, uh, he will not be much interested sitting down on long meetings. He is an action man who always look for action. Second, he doesn't like people the slender city of people like uh, you meant to say uh, I'm looking into that um, uh, so I'll do that for you please give me some time he's not interested on those he wants the actions to be done and it should be done on the perfect way the third thing is he's not interested on the issues that are coming up or somebody pointing out to him like him, he wants that everybody who has an issue should also come with a solution. Whether that is acceptable or not, that is a different story. But there should be someone who actually should work upon before raising the issue, who should start working on that issue and then should discuss that this is what I tried. And I did not get it. Please tell me what else to do. So that's our few competencies for the other person to how to work with an achiever. So I told you how to identify an achiever who actually, as I said, is MSD, Mahendra Singh Dhoni, who believes in finishing the job, who is an achiever. He, I'm saying, when I say who is an achiever, I did not mean that this is an achiever and this is not an achiever. 
this competency of achiever is there with everyone it's high time that you identify this brush it up and make the best use of this because out of this 34 themes of strength of strength that one has achiever is number one it starts with a but for me it is the doorway for strategic planning and if i am looking for someone who is managing work i am looking for someone who would be finishing the work who would be completing the work dear friends subscribe to my channel and because the next time I upload a video, I want you to be the first one to get the notification. Thank you.